Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? Todd Falcone here. Welcome to ToddFalcone.com. Hope you're having an amazing day, wherever this day finds you. Wanted to talk today a little bit about consistency. So every year, and you may, if, you're, if you've been following me for any period of time, you know that I pull my list, I pull my audience, find out, hey, what is it that you're struggling with? What do you feel that you need in order to be successful? And the thing is, when we, we went through almost a thousand surveys from this most recent survey, this 2018 survey, and the thing that came up more than anything else was, I need to be more consistent. I need to be consistent in my business. So I want to talk a little bit about that today, specifically in your network marketing business. And we're talking about being consistent. We're obviously talking about consistent revenue producing activities. I just can't get around to doing those things that I know that I need to be doing in order for me to make money, which is prospecting, exposure, talking to people about my products, my services, my business. So a couple things. Here's the thing. Number two, two primary reasons why people procrastinate. Number one is low self-confidence relative to the task at hand. I don't really feel like I'm good at it, so why do I want to do it? I'll just keep putting off. It's not comfortable for me. It doesn't necessarily feel that great because I'm not really good at it, so why do I want to go do something? And then, of course, fear is all wrapped up in, into that. So that's one thing. Number two is I just don't like the act. I don't like doing that activity. Now, you know, it's like prospecting. I don't really like It's like if you look at me, I don't love to just jump on the phone. I look at it like I get to go... Uh, talk to somebody about how they can improve the quality and the, and the direction of their life. So I think one of the things that you need to think about, and this is really important, the next time you're about to do something, but then you don't do that thing that you're about to do, let's say you're about to re reach for the telephone and pick up the phone and talk to somebody, but then you don't do it, you got to ask yourself why. What's going on in my head here? What is, what's the predominant feeling that's going on, which is causing me to not act? You have to have some type of clarity in terms of why you feel like you're procrastinating or putting something off. And then the second part of the clarity thing is, uh, it, unless you know exactly what it is that you want, uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. Here's the thing that I found, and you know this to be true. If you if you want something bad enough and you got your eyes on that prize that thing that is and it has nothing whether network marketing or not has not, whatever that thing is that object of desire that thing that I want to get that thing that I want to buy that car that dress that purse those things that trip whatever those things are you have such clear a clear picture of what that is that you always figure out a way to make it happen. It literally pulls you to that thing. So clarity pulls you to that thing that you're looking to, to get to. So do you have clarity with exactly what it is that you're looking to accomplish in your network marketing business? If you're lacking clarity, there's, a good, there's probably a good reason why you're lacking in your consistency. Now, to help you be more consistent, I'll give you a couple of suggestions. I'll, in fact, I don't know how many I'll throw out at you, but I'll certainly give you a couple, maybe a little bit more than that. Number one is grab a buddy, grab a partner, grab somebody that you can run with. If you can grab somebody that's a teammate, that's a fellow person in your company, a friend in network marketing, you can go out together. Anytime you do something together, uh, it always helps. So if you can spend even some time every single week working with someone uh, where you're doing it together, it's going to make it a lot easier. It'll, it'll take some time for, because, you know, what will happen, it, <clears throat> excuse me, is if you're not working with that person, then you're probably going to go right back to what you were doing before, which is nothing. But over time, if you consistently work with that person, maybe you're, you, you make it a point to get together with your running partner for a half an hour a day, an hour a day, and you go, or a couple hours a day, or whatever thing that is that you plan, over time, that'll turn into a new habit for you because you've learned how to be more consistent. You've been able to start to associate joy and pleasure with what you're doing. It's becoming more fun. You're developing your competence, your core competencies. You feel more confident about what you're doing. And when you have a greater level of competence, your confidence rises. So if you can grab a buddy, if you can grab a partner, I think that would be a wise idea. The second idea would be to schedule a power hour, something I still do. I still do this in my business every day. I schedule a power hour which forces me, so a power hour is 60 minutes of undivided attention on one activity. That one activity in the case that I'm talking about is revenue producing activities, prospecting, exposure, talking to people, flipping rocks over, making calls, setting meetings, do, get, and nothing else happens during that time. Nothing else happens during that time. 
I run a very successful, busy business, and there's a lot of things video, like this, video production, video production. I gotta do video, I gotta do this, I gotta write a blog post, I gotta do the social media stuff, I gotta run over here, I gotta do this stuff, I gotta, you know, there's all these things that are involved, but in the end, I still have to do revenue producing activities, just like you do in your network marketing business. So I set aside specific hours. I actually do multiple power hours. Typically I'll do like two hours a day, which is nothing but prospecting and exposure. So. And I don't, you know, and occasionally I've, I've, I've attempted to break my own rule. And then I'm like, hey, Falcone, what are you doing? You're, get back to what you, hey, this is, this is power hour time, brother. What are you doing? And I got to force myself. And what I do is I schedule it. So scheduling power hours and setting an appointment that this is what you're doing, just like any other appointment, doctor, dentist, to, you know, talking to a PTA or some teacher at your school because your kid's grades or whatever it is. You schedule that stuff, you don't break that stuff. So you schedule an appointment, you create a firm appointment that you schedule for yourself that you don't break. And the last thing I'll say real quick is this, give yourself some victories, okay? Give yourself many victories and many victories. Many, M-I-N-I, many, M-A-N-Y, many victories, small victories along the way. If you know, here's the thing, you have to give yourself rewards. So if, you're, if you do something, if you accomplish something simple, give yourself a reward for it. You deserve to be rewarded for that thing that you accomplished. If your only goal is to make a million dollars a year, you're gonna be disappointed all the way up until you earn a million dollars a year. But if you give yourself little mini goals and you can have little mini and many victories along the way, you're feeding yourself, it's encouraging. It's not you know, absolute and total discouragement until you finally get that thing, which you probably won't likely get because you'll ultimately get so discouraged because you only set one giant goal and you let yourself down all the way to oblivion. So those are a few things that you can do that will certainly help you to be more consistent. And you just got to get, here's the thing, we got to have that internal conversation with ourselves. Why am I putting this off? You know why you're putting it off. Why? Get clear with your, you, you don't have to share it with me. You don't have to share it with anybody, but you got to share it with yourself. You got to open up to yourself and say, hey man, what's up brother? What are you doing here? Why are you not being consistent? Well, I'm afraid of what they're going to think of me. Or I'm concerned about this. Well, good. Now we can finally address it because we know exactly what it is, is that we fear the most or which, which is causing us to not stay consistent. So, hey, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for plugging in. We'll see you on another video. Have an amazing day.